pitchers have. You'd think about a first pitch non-fastball here. I would always throw a first pitch slider. Championship series, off we go. He throws a fastball, it's 95, which is a good sign. He's pretty well, Tavares tiptoe into the track. Well, the Astros know they've got to get on the scoreboard first. And two hits in game two, including an RBI double, and then that track record against Scherzer. And this a one from Scherzer. Fastball in there for strike two. 0 oh, 2 pitch. Two gone in the first. The curveball early on has good touch on it. That's a good sign for Max. Dangerous pitches have leaned down in this series. Astros are now two for 27. And on the so on from Scherzer, he takes inside one ball, one corner with the arm angle that Max Scherzer. Home of this 1 1. Breckman. Tavares, who wants it, it is Tavares for the kick. Rangers have only played one game in this ballpark all postseason. They're back here, bats nine against Christian Javier. On the opposite side of Scherzer, he does not throw. For Rex, the Rangers don't run much. They're going to be able to steal bases off of this guy. 26 year old from the Dominican Republic, whose first pitch tonight is high on Simeon. They picked the right time to find it. Game 162. His 2 0 to Simeon is Altuve. One gone. Oh, that would be. Uh... Individually, one of them, yeah. Javier pitched really tough. Yeah, he throws them a lot of breaking balls, which gets under the barrel. The Who gets a first? And center field, Mauricio Dubai. On the infield, it is Bregman and Pena left side, Altuve and Abreu on the right. And of course, the reason is hitters miss his fastball. First two hitters, hittable pitches. Two outs on four pitches, and now Evan Carter goes after a first pitch fastball. And you see John, 94. And because he doesn't throw as many. This one one to Carter. Another fastball fouled back. And the Astros. And then they started getting some of the data on that fastball. And they said even though he's not throwing hard. One two pitch. A little pause there in the wind up. Two and two. Try to use that pitch clock. Pause. Wait. Do whatever you can. to hits. Full count. Shocking. Huh? Ball count. Double the rate of the average big leaguer. On this payoff, he swings and misses. Yeah, that's below the zone, but off speed to start. Would you even do much of anything for the Astros hitting 391 this postseason? Well, well, these are the kind of pitches when you've been off five weeks. These are the kind of pitches. I mean, that's a zone in, right, where he missed by about two feet. And you would expect games. First base runner of the game for either side. That's part of what makes this so fascinating is the way he sometimes does it. But given the fact that it's been 36 days since he's pitched, is a one. Good luck to that fastball. Check swing. Arm angle and mechanics. They don't have the reps because he'd been trying to build his shoulder back up. Home to Abreu with a one-one. Good pitch right there. That's the goes. Look how his head goes straight down. He has no idea where that pitch is <laughs> when he releases. It's one of the most. Here he comes with a one two. It is a fastball and a brilliant like a. Well, he has no issues right now with the fastball. And when you see the relief, holds it, holds its plane. One on one out for Kyle Tucker, who takes strike one. And here is it's, it's, the, the long Astros swing doesn't work. Quicker to the ball, stays close. Custer. I stay with the aggressive approach. Uh, and this one pitch takes outside. You think it's not five? Said this one came to him on the flight up here. You think this row in more than a year. It's in game two, including trying to get him down to his spot. So on from Scherzer. He takes inside one fastball low. They played one game in this ballpark all postseason. Back here. Add it in. On this 3 1, takes in the dirt. Ball four is going to be crucial. Dubon, the decision over Chaz McCormick. And Dusty said he's taken into account how. As aggressive as they come. He's <laughs> on a fastball, a foot off a nation. And certainly it's been working for him. And that's why Strohs. Corn the line into left field base hit. Picked up by Brayu. And boy, off of the bat, he figured that was going to score him for sure. Yeah, he hit it so hard. That would be more aggressive, if you can believe it or not. Now, twice the Astros. And of course, they weren't able. Golden chance for Pena. Big call right there. Yeah. Nice. Bigger advantage to score on a hit, but he paints the end. And Pena. Simeon out. He's there with the effects. Just as. 
Another great pitch and just couldn't get the barrel of the bat. We'll see how it rides in and just gets way in. Put it two gone. Scherzer comes home. Maldonado takes strike one and he's getting that call for that with his pitcher. Again, his pitcher wants it up more than. Oh, Heim is really mad. You see how he tries to get it in the middle of his chest protector to knock it down, but doesn't sin Houston. Second and third, and Maldonado's headed for the plate. And it's three to nothing, Hugh Single. He's saying, hang on, he thinks. Adolis Garcia starts the second for the Rangers and takes strike one for about an 0-2 pitch that hits the batter with two outs. Ball. Yeah, hit. Yep. Was this year. Easy one for Bregman. One out. He did it there in a crucial time to put some distance and give hit 42 to 10. They had a three-game sweep here in early September that had it. Jonah Heim fouls off the first one. Anywhere but home, really. Doing is he is not messing around and throwing all fastballs. Four down. First one right there, breaking ball. He's got a, an occasional changeup, but for the most part, he loves to take the eye. Two up, two down. Arms around two hits that he's given up in his last three games. Sky, it's like you got to check for his pulse. Always quiet, always kind of sitting. And he's done nothing but fortify that reputation since getting here to the big leagues. Texas DH takes ball two. El Reptile's 2 0 is very high, and we check in with Ken Rook. Of El Reptile. That is awesome. He said crocodiles what? seem like they're calm. And they can. Comes home with a 3 1. It is a fastball, and he gets a swing and a miss to run the count. Javier's payoff. Maldonado takes strike one, and he's getting that call for that with his pitcher. Again, his pitcher wants it up more than. Oh, Heim is really mad. You see how he tries to get it in the middle of his chest protector to knock it down, but doesn't sin Houston. Second and third, and Maldonado's headed for the plate, and it's 3 0 in Hugh Single. He's saying, hang on, he thinks. Adolis Garcia starts the second for the Rangers and takes strike one for about an 0-2 pitch that hits the batter with two outs. Ball. Yeah, hit. Yep. Was this year. Easy one for Bregman. One out. He did it there in a crucial time to put some distance and give hit 42 to 10. They had a three-game sweep here in early September that had it. Jonah Heim fouls off the first one anywhere but home really. doing is he is not messing around and throwing all fastballs four down first one right there breaking ball he's got a, an occasional changeup but for the most part he loves to take the eye two up two down arms around two hits that he's given up in his last three games sky it's like you got to check for his pulse always quiet always kind of sitting and he's done nothing but fortify that reputation since getting here to the big leagues. Texas DH takes ball two. El Reptile's 2-0 is very high, and we check in with Ken Rook. Of El Reptile. That is awesome. He said crocodiles what? seem like they're calm. And they can. Comes home with a 3 1. It is a fastball, and he gets a swing and a miss to run the count. Javier's payoff. Driven the other way. Steps out of the track, puts it away. See? Where what the players are wearing on the field during the postseason. At Scherzer for the Astros. That is ball one on Jose Altuve. On this 1 0 pitch. Gets to an outside slider and fouls it off. I, that's just a rough number that they threw out. Bruce Bochy has shown throughout his with all the length that he has down there. He'll act quickly if he needs to. Scherzer fires one, two. No big deal. I'm just going to hang there right to the last. On this one, two. It is a fast field. It is gone. Well, perfect exit what he can do and where he can hit it. I mean, this is not at all what he can do. Of game three, Michael Brantley now on back, but with room. 
Now without four pitches in the left hander's back. It makes sense that he can get to that pitch. Tuve were hoping that there'd be magic in this ballpark for us for El Tuve. And in that Astros dugout, Tom Verducci had. The only thing I can say is I think this is my first hit against him in a lot. And obviously a lot of great at bats. You know, Duvon is a big, big part of that inning. Get it. to nothing as the one two comes home to Alvarez. Don't even jump. Max can try to go back to that fastball up and away and see if he can get one more. That's where it's set. That's where he goes, but it's away. Payoff. Alvarez leans out of left field. Boy, he goes there. Del Tuve continues his mastery in this ballpark. Yeah, and he's got the Astros. Ball one on what so far has been a rare non fastball. Yeah, he started off on the bases. Now this season for Javier, all-star break. Low. Dubon will get there. This one. Yeah, that's below the zone. Three ninety-one. Strength of this stash is on the play. A big story for the night. And you would expect. We'll give it a move. Legit third guy. First base, first, first two. They headed up to Minnesota. Five scoreless. Adolis Garcia starts the set. Yeah, there's that history you're talking about yeah. this year. Better not fall behind. He had it. Time fouls off the first one anywhere but home. Two up. Two uh, this one two from Javier. It's a very sort of a game as they can, the meaning that if there's any trouble in here to the big not to, we'll go to that pen. Alan Teal's two up. He said, Javier home with a three two, and there's a walk for Tavares. You become a little base down four nothing, but I think you have to push the envelope. And who really should take advantage of it when they get on base? Their season was great through the wild card round in the division series. Really hadn't done a whole lot in the Pena gets in front of it, brings it across, and it is over. The 2023 American League Championship Series on FS1 is found the bag. They're into left center field and it splits the gap.